it's Groundhog Day. So good morning to all of you. And I am broadcasting live at this moment. Facebook has confirmed you're now live. But the question of the day is, is this the first time that you are watching this video? As those of you who have known me over the years, you know that I love the movie Groundhog Day. And in that movie, movie Phil, played by Bill Murray, wakes up on Groundhog Day and has the worst day of his life and then proceeds to relive that day. Some say for 10,000 years of days. And um, finally, at the end of the movie, he wakes up to February 3rd. It is a different day. So the question for us is, is it Groundhog Day again? Is this the same day that you lived yesterday? It may be different things that you do, different people that you see, but what makes the day different is the self that we bring to it. And so the question that I like to ask myself as I woke up this morning, how am I different than yesterday? Or what did I do yesterday that made me better today? I had a really great day yesterday. I had a meeting and got all this work done for the meeting and met with people that I loved and talked and, and we did good business at the meeting. It was a productive day. I also had to deal with a problem where one particular utility did not take the payment that I made online. And so I worked all that through and I went back to my dance class and I saw my friends and it felt so good to be with my friends again. So happy and to stretch my muscles and dance that way. And did any of that create a different Karen so that when I woke up today, I'm different? Or is it, were all those things just part of the cycle that Karen lives, that I live? So as I think back about it, I'm like, well, I've had great meetings before. I've had get together with my friends again before. It's all wonderful. It's all thoroughly enjoyable. Was any of it preparing me to be different today? I'm a little bit happier, but that might be part of my cycle. You know, maybe I'll have a lousy day in Karen's cycle today and feel a little bit lousier. I noticed, yep, I got on the scale this morning and it was a different number. And it goes up a couple of ounces and it goes down a couple of ounces. It's part of a cycle of living. And so... Perhaps the question is, what can I do today to, as a gift to that future me that will wake up tomorrow or wake up today again? As I look back over all that I did yesterday, the only things that I can believe changes me were those little things that I've started doing to love the today me, the future me. It was the little habits that are not yet cemented 
in my living, but I did them in order to, in, in order to build them as habits. So last night, yesterday, Karen washed all the dishes that had gathered in the sink, you know, the coffee cup, the tea cup, the cat's dish, whatever. And this morning, when I woke up and I went to make a nice thing to drink, it was all clear. And that I knew, that activity of yesterday I knew is part of a ten, maybe 10,000 years of days of, of doing that, that is creating a different me. In, and so as we watched Phil in the movie, you know, he was changing. He, he was learning how to play the piano. He was becoming more loving. He was starting to think about other people. He, he was doing things and he was changing and he was incrementally having a different experience of life. But February 3rd happened when his whole process of living was so changed that he could never go back. That all those tiny habits so cemented a new way of living his life, a new approach, of a new way of being in the moment and giving all that he had to his life. It was so ingrained in him through these daily habits that he practiced that he, would, he was irrevocably different in who he was being. And so it's not the things we do that show us we're living a different day. It's the con, well, we say in the Science of Mind teaching, it's the consciousness. And so the question is for us today, no matter how many times you're watching this video, the question is, what can I do for me, my future self? What can I do for you, my future self, today? And as we watch this video again, we can ask that question, what did I do that has made me different today? And so it may be I've, I kept the habit going, the new habit going. I, I practiced controlling my emotions, my expression of anger better. We're going to have all that's cooking within us showing up in our cycles of living. But are we on a step-by-step -step trajectory of really changing who we are? Also this morning, what came to my mind was a song from Funny Girl, Who Are You Now? Now That You're Mine. Are you something more than you were before? That's the question of this morning. Am I something more than I was before? And so for me, it was those tiny little habits that encourage me to realize, yeah, you're something more. And it wasn't being with my friends. It wasn't getting all that stuff done with the meeting and dealing with the issues, whatever. Although, as I think back about it, if I had this question present, I could have been more intentional in doing those things, like I was with cleaning the kitchen sink. And so today, how can I be more intentional in my daily living so that it's really changing me deep inside? And so I leave you now to contemplate these questions for yourself. And it's up to you whether you ever watch this again. 
It's up to you whether you ask these questions of yourself ever again. But your future you, your February 3rd, does depend upon it. I know that for me. I know that for you. And only you can tell. And it's only you, your future you, who can tell. So with that thought for Groundhog Day, I sign off saying I love you. I love you just the way you are. Same old, same old you. And oh boy, I'm forever in love with that future you that does dwell right now within. So, so long. Goodbye.